Madonna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars are tricky. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Rose, anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Sound the alarm! Shots fired! Four bogeys on a trolley! Artyom, you should probably get to the bridge! Are you alright, Artyom? Damn! That pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog! Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? And in uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. And taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir! May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak! When can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, it. sir. Duke, I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. sir. Don't forget your notepad, Artyom. Wait, am I not trustworthy anymore? I'd tell you if it was the case, Sam. Now, cut the chatter! Artyom, your notepad is there on the ledge. Found it? No? It's right over here.
Let's go, Artyom! Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Well, I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys. Well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy. Enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great! That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go.
Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silentius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Right, get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Nothing I can get to you by ourselves. So, where is that heritage? She came by boat during the sermon. Then what? Well, he, he was just there and then he kind of disappeared. What's the sound? Your father Salentia said the man was sent by the devil. There wasn't just nothing. It looks like there never was anything. Damn. Go! 
Tom. That's all right. Get him. Huh? What was it right now? I'm there. there. What's going on? Oh, I don't feel...
The heretic? Ha! Well, just... huge the old man sent me out as a forward sentry told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action so I just had a front row
Here's Artyom. Thank you for the information, Katya. Uh, there is one more question I need to ask. Then come back here. But of course. What do you know of the forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead-eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Katya... Where are you uh, from? The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who can have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of Artyom, come over here please. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Can't Damn. Repairs alone. What do I even do about this? Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. <laughs> By the way, Alyosha, my friend, that Katya lady Anna brought in? I could replace the so once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. I've got to fix this one. And I She's a nurse, that. so maybe you should have her look at your wound, huh? It'd make a great opener for getting acquainted, you know? No dice. Stepan's all over her with his rugby Besides, he doesn't really want I, to leave. I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea?
I'll lower the crane for you! You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, bleh. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. Hey, where you going? Look, you don't want to hear it? Uh, fine by me, just tell me. Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Not a palace. One. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. By the way, almost forgot. Here, it's a gift for you. I made a workbench to tinker 
on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like. It. Can't carry all this shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty place. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Managed to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chased me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. But I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come, and right on time, too. <laughs> hey, you have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The Beast? Well, that's another story, though. Take these ugly mutant bastards from earlier, for example. One of them, it's nothing, but... You come across a pack of them? Oh, just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. Woohoo, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. Humans are always worse. Some bandits came here recently? I have no idea what they want. They didn't approach the bridge or the village even once. They just sit there, bullets, waiting for something. But I know they are bad news, you know? Villagers say people started going missing when the bandits come. You, know, you go fishing or something, then you just don't come back. Well, I could go on for ages like this, but your leader wanted something done. Just go on ahead. I'll gather some stuff here. I'll see you at your train. No, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, away you go.
saw something there.
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
They're coming for you. Uh, Anna, what's wrong? Anna. God damn it. It's good Artyom found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Okay, all right. So, uh, Arjun, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy. Thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <laughs> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guy are here. Artyom, help us here. We all I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where would you go? Hi, Artyom. Come on, the old man's waiting. Hey, Artyom, see how it all worked out? Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traitor's boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. 
No, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in a terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom, if the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nasia will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's dark. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in their best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom. I have something for your Tihar. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Artyom, the workbench is at your service if you need it. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't yeah, know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask. There, 
where the big tanks are. If you find my teddy bear, just in case you...